Hey friends, Matt aka Martin here and welcome back to another video. Today I want to take a look at 10 of what I think are the most overlooked shortcuts inside of Ableton Live, as well as throw on a few bonus shortcuts at the end and throughout as well. Shortcuts are super important for an efficient workflow and having an understanding of all of the shortcuts inside of your door, even some of the more obscure ones, is a really useful thing. And so let's get into it. But before we do, if you enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Subscribe if you're new and if you really enjoy my content and stuff like this, feel free to head on over to my buy me a coffee page where you can buy me a coffee, support me and the channel and get really cool stuff in the process. But without any further ado, let's take a look at the first overlooked shortcut inside of Ableton Live. Okay, so the first overlooked shortcut inside of Ableton Live is inserting silence in the arrangement view. And this is done really simply and it's a really useful shortcut. So all I need to do is select an area that I want to insert some silence in, and then I can just hit Command and I or Control and I if I'm on Windows on my keyboard. And this will insert silence moving everything back in time a little bit so that I can now add some extra sections inside of my session. I do this all the time when I'm starting out a project, I'll come up with an eight or 16 bar loop or something like that, and then just insert maybe about eight or 16 bars worth of silence, even a little bit more, so I can continue working on that loop as I arrange out the track. The second overlooked shortcut inside of Ableton Live is deleting time. This follows in suit with the previous shortcut that we looked at, whereas instead of inserting more time or inserting silence, we're deleting time or silence if you wanted to just select a bunch of silence. So as an example, if I have all of this silence here that I've just inserted and I wanna get rid of it and I wanna move this all the way back to the start as well, I can simply select all of this area and just hit Command, Shift and Delete or Control Shift and Delete on Windows. And then we go, we've deleted all of that time. This also works if I've got a whole section that I wanna delete here. So say I wanted to delete this middle 16 bars, I could just simply select this middle 16 bars, hit Command, Shift and Delete on my keyboard. And that would take the end section and the first section and squish them together. The third overlooked shortcut inside of Ableton Live is duplicating time. So I've looked at inserting time, deleting time. Now we can look at duplicating time. So if I have a section that I want to repeat, like I do here, I want to repeat all of this 32 bars. Instead of kind of selecting all of this and then copying it and then pasting it over here, which I can do, I can simply just select the area of time that I want to duplicate, which is all of this 32 bars. And I can hit Command, Shift and D or Control, Shift and D on Windows. And that will duplicate out that time for me. And I can do this a bunch of times if I want to just get at a rough structure, as opposed to kind of having to duplicate all the different parts and bits and pieces and like that. And it's a much quicker and efficient way of duplicating entire sections in the arrangement. The fourth overlooked shortcut inside of Ableton Live is slip editing. Now this is a really useful feature and it can be used in both audio and MIDI clips. And basically what it allows us to do is scrub within the audio or MIDI of a clip on our arrangement view. So here we can see I've got a break sample, which sounds like this. And if I open up the clip by double clicking on it, we can see that this has a whole bunch more audio inside of it. Now, instead of just kind of trying to drag this out and select more audio inside of it, I can hold down Alt and Shift on my keyboard and I can just click and drag left on the clip in my timeline. And this will allow me to scrub through the audio inside of the clip. And whilst holding down Shift and Alt, it links or snaps to whatever my current grid value is. Whereas if I hold down command whilst also doing so, it allows me to scrub off the grid. As I mentioned, this also works for MIDI clips. So I can go down here to this wavetable track and I can just do the exact same by holding down shift and option. And then if I hold down command, I can also scrub through without being snapped to the grid. The fifth overlooked keyboard shortcut inside of Ableton Live is for soloing a track. And this is a really simple one and it's simply the S key. So for example, if I'm playing my whole track like this, and I want to solo out just a single element, I can select that element, say this bass track here, and I can just simply hit the S key on my keyboard. If I want to solo out another element, I can go up to this break maybe and hit the S key on my keyboard. If I want to solo multiple elements at once, I can select multiple elements at once, say these two synth tracks here, and just hit the S key on my keyboard, and that will solo those elements together.
Really great way of quickly and easily soloing tracks. The sixth overlooked key command inside of Ableton Live is Option plus U for folding or unfolding all tracks inside of your arrangement view. So here inside of Ableton Live, I've got a whole bunch of tracks that are all unfolded here, um, a bunch of groups and stuff as well. And if I press Option and U or Alt and U, this will allow me to unfold all of the tracks including all of my groups and the tracks within the groups. And then I can hit Option and U again to fold all of the tracks. And then when I press Option and U for a third time, it will actually unfold just all of the groups and then any tracks that were already unfolded inside of those groups. And then if I want to, again, unfold everything, including the tracks inside of those groups, I can just press Option and U on my keyboard again. The seventh overlooked key command inside of Ableton Live is Option or Alt and Spacebar for playing a selected section of the timeline in your arrangement view. As an example, if I were just working on a very small section of this tune, maybe say this first bar or something like that, and I was soloing in on the drums, and I didn't want to have to keep kind of pressing space and then stopping and then pressing space and then stopping again, I could just select this area and press Alt and Space. And then when the playhead reaches the end of my selection, it's gonna stop playing. This is useful for a variety of things, such as what I just mentioned there, playing smaller sections of the track, also for resampling very small sections, or if you're doing any kind of like online bounces or resampling of whole tracks and everything like that, this allows you to very precisely select the range in which you're recording or playing back on your timeline. The eighth overlooked key command inside of Ableton Live is Shift plus Command plus C for Capture MIDI. Capture MIDI is something I use personally all the time inside of my workflow. And basically what it allows me to do is without hitting the record button, I can just capture any MIDI input that I send onto a track. As an example, if I want to record say a line on this lead synth that I've just brought in here, I could just simply play along with the track on my MIDI keyboard. And then I can hit Shift, Command, and C on my keyboard. And without having recorded the track, all of my MIDI input is already there. And this saves me having to go up to the top and hitting the actual Capture MIDI button. It's just really useful to have that as a key command. The ninth overlooked key command inside of Ableton Live is Command plus Option plus F, or Control and Alt and F, for fades. Now I'm gonna be honest, I don't use fades a whole lot, but when I do, this is a really useful key command to remember. As an example, I have this crash symbol right here. If I wanna add a fade to the end of it, I can simply select the area or the length that I want to add a fade, and then I can press Command, Option, and F on my keyboard, and that will add a fade out if I've selected the end of the clip, or if I want to add a fade in, I can select from the start of the clip onwards and press Command, Option, and F to add a fade in on the clip. Now, of course, this only works for audio clips, so do bear that in mind. The 10th overlooked key command inside of Ableton Live is a really simple one, and it's one I use all the time, and it is the R key for reversing an audio clip. As an example, if I want to add a reverse crash symbol at the end of this eighth bar here, I can just hold down Alt and click and drag this crash symbol here towards the end, and then I can select this audio clip and then press the R key on my keyboard. That will reverse it and now I can trim it. And then if I want to scrub through the clip, I can use one of my previous shortcuts, which is the Command, Shift, and Option to click and drag and scrub through the clip. If I want it a little bit shorter, there we go. Now I can scrub through the clip. And being able to combine these key commands like this allows for a really quick and efficient workflow. So those are my top 10 overlooked shortcuts for Ableton Live, but I wanna also talk about the ability to add custom key commands to things that don't already have key commands assigned to them. And I wanna talk about three that I use personally inside of my projects all the time. So if I want to add a key command to a parameter that doesn't already have a key command mapped to it, I can simply press Command K or Control K on my keyboard to bring up the key mapping section. And then I can select any parameter inside of Ableton Live that is highlighted in this orange color. And say I wanted to have a key command for my metronome, potentially. I can select my metronome and then press a key or combination of keys on my keyboard. Maybe I want to go for Shift and M or something like that. So Shift M and now the capital M or shift and M is assigned to the metronome right here. 
Now, the three that I want to talk about that I use all the time in terms of my own custom key commands for Ableton Live is the first one being lock envelopes. This lock envelopes button up in the top right hand corner here of the arrangement view is really useful. And basically what it allows you to do is not have envelopes or automation lines tied to the clips. As an example, here on this wavetable track, I have this automation on this delay dry wet parameter. And currently this lock envelopes button is enabled. And now if I click and drag around this clip, the automation stays in the place on the timeline. Whereas if I unselect that lock envelopes button, which I've actually mapped to the backslash key on my keyboard. Now when I click and drag this clip, the automation comes with it. So having this map to a key command is incredibly useful because it allows you to really quickly and easily turn it on or off at your leisure. The next custom key command that I have mapped is the Y key for inserting a locator. Now in order to set a locator, you can simply select anywhere on your timeline and come up to here and hit the set key or set button, but having to move your mouse for this can get a little bit annoying. So instead, what I've done is just simply mapped it to the Y button or Y key on my keyboard. So now I can select an area on my timeline and add a locator just by hitting the Y key on my keyboard. Finally, the third custom key command that I have mapped inside of Ableton Live is P for the MIDI pre-listen or preview button. This allows me to open up a MIDI clip as an example right here. And if I want to audition the notes that I'm inputting, I need to simply engage this little MIDI editor preview button right here. And now when I click on a note, I can hear the note that I'm playing in, but it can get a little bit annoying having to go back and click this on and off if you don't want it on. So instead what I've done is just key map this to the P key on my keyboard. A really useful custom key command. And there you have it, there are my top 10 overlooked keyboard command shortcuts inside of Ableton Live, as well as a few bonuses with regards to creating your own custom key commands. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to click here and check out one of my previous videos. Otherwise, drop a like and a comment down below. Feel free to head on over to my Buy Me A Coffee page where you can buy me a coffee, support the channel and get a bunch of cool stuff in the process. Otherwise, have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you all in the next video.